welcome to the Metal Voice, and once again, returning guest Elena Cortina with Hello. her. Wait a second, we got a newbie here. We got a new one. Uh, you want to introduce yourself, Gabriela? Abu. Hi, I'm Gabriela Bucci, the drummer of Nervosa. <laughs> new drummer in a band. It's very exciting. Uh, and uh, the news today is there, of course, the latest album right here, Jailbreak. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, the upcoming U.S. Canadian tour, which is exciting. It's going to start August the 29th in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. as well as the addition of Gabriela Abuda. Ab Abud, sorry. sorry. Yes. That's, that's pretty yeah. exciting news. So let's start off. Elena has been on before, but let's, let's get to uh, Gabriela and ask, how did you get into the band? Mm, I was called by a band called Sinaya, a girl band, to substitute the, the other drummer because mm -hmm. couldn't, she couldn't play the shows. And I did four shows or three shows with them. Mm -hmm. Like we were opening for them to Nervosa and we met in Brazil there in this, these shows. Oh, so it's interesting because you're Brazil, Prika's Brazil, and you have two Greeks, so it's... Yes, half and half. So now you can <laughs> you can speak to each other in each other's language. You have like a friend. Which Almost. Helps. Which helps? Almost. We're creating kind of our own language. Like <laughs> some Greek and some Portuguese and some English inside, you know. So. Portugreek. <laughs> Portugreek. Portugreek. Yes, there you go. Yes. <laughs> yes. So okay, so Lena, what what can the band, what the, could the fans expect on this North American, uh, Canadian, U.S. tour? What can they expect? I mean, I, th I think this is your first headlining tour, right? In, in North America, I don't think True, you correct. were you were in the band the last time they did this, though. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. no, neither me, neither uh, Gabriela, because the band have been the last, the latest uh, tour that they did in the U.S. was uh, supporting uh, Destruction in. Yes. 22. So yeah, officially I got in the band on uh, 23. On 22, I was uh, just uh, playing uh, a few shows, basically a tour, like a bassist. But officially, I got in the band in uh, 2023. Okay. So what uh, can what can the fans expect in terms of a set list? In terms of a set list, it's gonna be, I think, the longest set list uh, that we're uh playing uh because mm -hmm. we're gonna have a combination of uh old songs mm -hmm. from the previous albums of course the very classic ones and we are gonna have a lot of songs from jailbreak and songs that we even never played before even here in uh europe so, so new, us is gonna new, be so new songs or new songs are like older songs no songs from uh jailbreak yeah but uh uh songs that we never played before uh live but from jailbreak album okay 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 i got it i got it so okay yes, so, yes, Gabrielle, yes. so how long did it take you to to like figure out you know uh, the set list and it must be a lot of work right because you're you're you got to learn the whole set Gabriela, right yeah yeah it's so, uh it's it, hard work because you have to put everything in the you know in the the right place. Yes, the right place to have a connection between its song and uh, because we want to keep uh, the whole show like running, not have gaps or like uh, slowing down. No, we, we want to keep the show like as fast as uh, possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure. As I, possible. It, yeah. it, I, I'm assuming it must be really rough for the drummers because it, it's, it's, it's very technical. Right, the, the, it's 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 very very technical, and and they've gone through so many drummers because to to keep up, it's it's very hard. Do you find it very challenging so far? I find it, but now again, I'm getting used to. I love it. I love it, yeah. and now I guess uh, I need to to get my body ready for this, and this is making me healthier. So. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that that that's that's the way to put it. Um, so okay, there's a VIP, and I'm seeing the VIP like go on the tour bus, and it's all. Tell tell me about the VIP. What does it include? This is like more than usual. Yes, yes, and it's the first time that we are doing this thing. I mean, I see a lot of bands, especially after uh, COVID period and stuff, that they starting to do all the VIP, VIP packages. 
Mm-hmm. But for us, it's the the first time to do it, of course, because it's a headliner uh, tour. So now we have the opportunity to do this. But uh, we're going to have two packages of uh, VIP tickets. And the one is the really special one. Of course, both of them will have uh, like photos with the band, the Leonard's, everything, talk with the band, meet and greet. And But the second one has also like, a, it includes the whole touring experience, like how the band, what does the band do during a day? Like how is the tour bus, uh, talk about the things, explain things. So people have the, have the chance to totally have a look how it is to be in a band for a day. You're going to bring them on the tour bus. Yes. So you got to keep it clean. You know, you gotta, that's what it's about. <laughs> yeah. That's like your yeah. house, right? That's your oh. house. So you got to keep it clean. Oh crap! Don't look there. Don't look there. Right? You know. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. We have to keep pretty, it. I think it's pretty interesting. I think it's pretty the way you're doing it. Are you gonna maybe like videotape the experience? Maybe yes. I, I always do mini vlogs. I always do. I will. Yes, it's very good. I will, of course. You, you should yeah. do that. And with the fans, too, like showing what's going on. I think people don't realize how hard it is, you know, on a day to day. No. And I think that uh, many people are uh, having this kind of question in their heads, like, OK, and how it is to be in a band, in a touring band for a day and uh, how you're living there, you know. Uh, what do you do? What do you eat? How you sleep and blah, blah, blah. So. Yeah, this is a very good chance for people to kind of uh, take an idea mm-hmm. and uh, take a look for how things are. And it would be really great to like to have this interaction interaction with them. Like uh, it's really it's really nice to meet people and to meet a fan. It will be really really good. What's 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 the um the ratio was it for men to women like what percentage is it men to women do you find at your shows mm, wow that's an interesting question because lately uh we are realize that uh, women are getting more and more into the shows and this is something very nice and makes us very very happy because also in the end of the of every show we are uh, talking with them and they are like hey uh, I pick up the guitar or I pick up the drums or uh, I just got in a band and uh, we would like to go on tour and uh, what uh, you should uh, recommend to us and uh, give us some advices. So it's like uh, something super beautiful. And I I remember there were specific uh, cities that the amount of women in the crowd was extremely lot. That's good. That's good. Yes. You know, you know, I'm going to tell you this. In 10 years from now, people are going to say, you know, I picked up the guitar or the drums because of you. Like uh, some little girl is probably out there. You know, the same uh-huh. way like Kitty. Like, you know, people look at Kitty as they're older now. And they, yeah, they're yeah. girl school. You know, they, you know, when I talk to them, they tell me how your generation picked up the guitar because of them, you know. So, mm-hmm, it's, mm-hmm. so in 10 years, remember what I said. In 10 years. <laughs> ten we're going to have a We're going to do this again in 10 years. <laughs> I might be dead by then. I might be dead by no, then. No, no. <laughs> you never know. You <laughs> <laughs> will have a new interview. Okay, in 10 yes, years yes. from now, today, this exact day, we're going to have another interview. <laughs> do, you, do you find also, like, so you must have, like, a, more guys, right? I, I obviously, you have more guys at the shows because yeah. death metal mm-hmm. appeals more to guys. Mm-hmm. Today, it might change. Is it yeah. harder sometimes you get drunk, headbanger guys, and they, for women, it's, it's you know, it, it's not always easy, right? Because they, they get drunk and they sort of, you know, I don't know, maybe try to take advantage of the ladies or you just punch them and there's no issues. Problem <laughs> <laughs> problem. <laughs> you know, but do you find that there's also, that still exists? I know in the olden days it used to be like that. Look, I think that this thing uh, still exists not only in uh, like death metal or uh, thrust metal or metal shows in general, mm-hmm. but yeah. it's the kind of thing that it's in everywhere. Like even if you go to a whatever festival or in a club or for, for whatever kind of music, I think it is a thing still. 
Yeah. You, know, you do a meet like I mean, I remember, I, I've heard stories. I've interviewed a lot of ladies, a lot of guys, and you hear stories like they they they, they pay for a meet and greet, and they think just because they paid for a meet and greet, they can, you know, they could uh, use that situation to their advantage, right? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Uh, I mean, we in for this kind of situation, we were never we never had a case like this. Uh, but I think uh, that uh, no, till now we all the experience we had was like good. great, and people were like super uh, yeah. respective. Good, like, good, good. I'm just curious. Something. I'm just curious. If it happened something like some hand or something, we talked and solved problem solved. You know, you, you just I know Elena is just gonna punch that guy right in the face. It's, <laughs> <laughs> or I'll take a guitar over the head. Right. <laughs> what? what so you like I, you know what i love about you guys you just don't stop touring and, and in the olden days that's how bands made it right yeah it was it, yeah. It's, it's not play three shows it's continuously iron maiden you think of the best bands in the world you know these are bands that toured non-stop and i could see that because you're touring so much you're building mm -hmm. and building and now you're headlining right yeah um who are the who are the people that you've met on the road because now you've been on the road that you said oh my god i met this person a hero or or you know like i'll start off with gabriella who have you met that you said wow i can't believe i met this person wow a oh lot. you have i have a lot <laughs> well we uh, i'm on the road anywhere oh, the shows the clubs on the road at the festivals, I'm sure at the festivals. Oh, I'm at, I'm at the Fort Noy. <laughs> like, uh, okay, yes. I met uh, James Stewart from the Captated. He's a fucking good drummer. Mm -hmm. And he helped me a lot with tips. Um, oh my God, no, he helped Mario. me. Mario, yeah, I, I met Mario. Mario the Princess, my favorite drummer. I love him. Okay. From, yeah. yeah, from Gujira. And it's um, it's kind of exciting because I don't know when you're on the road and you see another person on, on the road, it's like, hey, we, I know what you're going through. It's like this kind of look, do, do you know, it's like a connection, yeah, connection, different connection. You know, it's interesting. This is like all new for you, I guess. Right. This is all the road is still new. Right. It's a new experience, I'm trying to say. Yeah, all new, all new. Elena's like now she's 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 really she's good at this now. <laughs> what about you? What about you, Elena? Tell me, tell me about you know some. I know you met a lot, but I'm... yeah, I will start from the pretty fresh ones that uh, we were in terms of rock in June mm -hmm. in uh, Oslo, and uh, we met uh, Europe. We're playing there, and I met John Norum, which is okay. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, yes. In the in this backstage, I was feeling totally like a child because we were in the backstage, yes. in, exactly in the opposite side. It was Saxon just sitting there, relaxing, talking. Next, it was like Europe, Metallica. I was like, okay, we're we're good in here. I <laughs> we're having a great time in here. And after a while, um, we also saw Kirk Hammett coming in the, walking in the backstage area and say, okay, but it was like super fast. We just had a small chat, hey, with band and blah, 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 took a photo and that was it. And also in the previous year, I remember the meeting with uh, KK Dong from Judas Priest. Of course, there and you now go. There you go. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Which was ah, one of the... I was totally froze because we were playing uh, a show in UK in the venue that uh, he has K over there. Yeah, yeah. the uh, KK's uh, Steel Mill. Steel Mill, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, but we didn't expect him, like, him to, to be there. And uh, I remember they had a lot of uh, stuff from the equipment that he was using back in the 80s with uh, mm -hmm. Judas Priest. And uh, we were hanging around, watching stuff. And I remember it was our uh, tour manager. And he was like, hey, Helena. I said, okay, what? And he was like, hey, yeah, what? And I, 
I said, okay, okay, don't come. I said, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Yes, because him and Glenn Tipton, for me, was like the two guitarists that got me into more heavy stuff and them together, the connection was amazing. So many songs, albums, hits, great. And I remember that he came to our side and I was like, I was watching him like, and I couldn't believe that he's real. He's the, the person. <laughs> It's, oh. it, it, it's 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 amazing, isn't it? When you when you when you like you're you say, "Am I supposed to be here?" <laughs> all, these, yes, all these people. It's amazing, to be here? It's amazing I, I, that I, 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 somehow you realize that they are also like human beings yes, yes. <laughs> from another planet or something. They are also yeah, people. I, 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 I've had like, you know, all the backstage access and sometimes I'm standing there and, you know, side stage and I'm going, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here. You know, like and, and people ah. are coming and going, they're having coffees and it's like, ooh, okay. Yeah, so I, know, cool. I, I, I know what you feel. I know what you feel. It's it's just an amazing experience. You know, it's... Uh, and it's good because you keep reminding why you like them and how, how, the, how, how much inspiration they gave to you. And it's like, uh, I don't know, it's really, it's really a good feeling. You know, they always have this expression, you know, never meet your heroes because they'll disappoint you. I never had that. I've met tons. Yeah. I've met tons of people and I've never had that experience. Yeah. And me personally, I never had this kind of experience, but I'm totally opposite from people that say, hey, no, I don't, I wouldn't like to meet my idol. No, I like to meet my idols because. Of course. That's what I say to you, that you're realizing that they are people that they worked extremely hard yeah mm -hmm. they, they were super clever super talented they were at the right place the right time so you say okay it, it it is kind of possible all these things to to happen and especially if you have the chance to have a, a small chat with yeah. them and take some yeah. tips some advices it's amazing i'm always like uh trying to not talk about drums and exercises and this stuff to not sound like really really how do i say really fun yes. like yeah fan, like a fan yeah yeah but i'm always i would lo i love to have these dogs like it's so so rich yeah yeah it is it is all right tell me about the uh, free tickets you have a free ticket giveaway i think i saw recently maybe you want to mm -hmm. A pair, yes. We have a pair of free tickets and we also have the link uh, uploaded in all of our social media, so our personal uh, profiles. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we thought I'll, to... I'll, I'll put it in the video description here, okay? Yeah, yeah, click yeah. on that. So what is it? Like you have a big thing that you turn and you take out a name? Ah, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> like the lottery, you know? <laughs> Like a lottery. I don't know how the, the, the whole process of this will uh, will be. Okay. Yeah. But I'm right. super happy to make a, like a surprise and a prize for some fans. Okay. So in other words, you could click on the link and then it'll tell mm -hmm. you what to do to enter into the contest for two tickets. All right. Exactly. Exactly. What, what about, okay, now this album is like, I, I don't even, I think you're now almost a year old on this album, right? Is it, oh, yeah. Yes. Are, are you writing yes. new music? Almost, yes. Look, in general, as you said, we never stop working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when we're not on the road, we're working uh, behind the scenes, like in general, not only for new stuff, yep. working for a lot of things. Uh, but, of so course, you ready? You ready we're... Uh, I cannot say. <laughs> no, I don't know. You're just writing music. I don't know. Let's make this as a surprise, but keep your in mind that uh, we are always super busy on creating new stuff. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. All right. So, is there anything else you want to say, guys, about the tour? Or... About the tour, we are extremely excited. Yes. Mm -hmm. Personally, personally, for me, it was a dream always to tour in US. Mm -hmm. And this tour with like forty shows in there, it's long one it's uh it's kind of fulfilling the the whole thing for me right okay yes yes right. super that's happy it. that's it yeah. so, there you go the exactly. tour starts uh let me see when it starts august 29th all Nine. the way to august 29th and that's i think a festival blades of steel festival right exactly yes we start with the festival 
in in Wisconsin, and then have you have you seen the rest of the U.S.? Uh, what do you mean? Have, have we... you gone Have you gone through it before? No, never, never, never. I've... We just been together in uh, January. Yeah, in, in Miami, a... Los Angeles, and then we took the the cruise, the seventy thousand. Oh, yes. Okay. But we never played in the U.S. before. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. I think, yeah. yeah. And and you finish all the way. Oh boy, you go all the way with forty days. It probably brings you to what November, October. Oh, October, mid October, mid October. And you're going up to Canada, and then you're coming down mm -hmm. again. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. And where we go? Yes, 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 yes. All we right, have well, a lot of things. Yes. Well, good <laughs> luck. Good luck. Looking forward to seeing you guys. And yeah. uh, have a great day. And uh, I don't know if there's anything else. Just tell me. Keep your mind that we will be in your city like uh, very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, everybody can check the dates uh, in our official website or in our social medias. We have everything and everywhere. The, we have the link and the tickets. So pick up a date, grab a ticket, and we'll see you there. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you so much, Timmy. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day.